this, this next resistor is going to get a little uglier. All right, start with a battery. Then we have a three-way branch. Then the current comes back together. It's going to go through this resistor and then branch again. This branch has two resistors, the other one has one. Join back up and finish up. Labeling my resistances, 8, 6, 24, 2, 6, 8, 4. My battery is 27 volts. I tend to do more work than some other people do in simplifying these circuits. I find that it pays off in another way later. And you might see my method as these circuits become bigger and bigger and bigger when I'm going to get to the point where I'm going to need to find the current everywhere. Um, and having a few drawings to go from really helps me. So I'm going to combine these two guys. Are they in series or parallel with one another? The 8 and the 4 are in series with each other. So I'm going to do 8 plus 4 combines to make a 12. So this portion of the circuit down here is the same as if I have a 6 and a 12 there. I'm going to leave the 2 ohm resistor as it is. Additionally, I'm going to combine these three. These three are all in parallel with one another. So when I add them, I'm going to do 1 over 8 plus 1 over 6 plus 1 over 24 equals 1 over R. 1 over 8 plus 1 over 6 plus 1 over 24 gives me 0.333. 1 over that answer gives me an R of 3. So this is the same as having this replaces as a 3 ohm resistor. I want to get to the point where I have all of my resistors in series so I can just straight up add them to find R net. So the next thing that I want to combine these two guys. Series or parallel? Parallel. So 1 over 6 plus 1 over 12 equals 1 over R. 1 divided by 6 plus 1 divided by 12 equals 1 divided by my answer. Gives me 4. So I'm going to now replace this with a 4 ohm resistor. 27 volts, 3, 2, 4, comes back around. Now I'm down to just these resistors. They're all in series with each other. So our net for the whole circuit is 3 plus 2 plus 4, or a whopping 9 ohms. I could also ask, I didn't in this case, but it's easy enough to, I could ask you for the current in the circuit, or I net. If I wanted to find I net, like you saw in the previous problems, I'm using Ohm's law. If I want I net, I use the voltage of the battery, and I use R net, and we get I equal to 3 amps. I could also find the power of the circuit, but I'm not going to do that here. 